Hello everyone, Marine here for Hello Bluebird. The new release is here, it's finally here. Everything is now available at shop.hellobluebird.com. So today I'm back again to celebrate this new release. And as promised at the end of my last video, I'm back with more spooky inspiration. My card features the new Bookrou stem set. I also picked two bats from Frightful Little Bits that was released last year. This gorgeous full moon die, part of the new release. A die from the Grassy Knoll die set. And I used two dies from the new nesting A7 die set. I will show you later in the video. So as always, I started by stamping the images using Extreme Black Ink by My Favorite Things. I cut them all using the coordinating dies and used my alcohol markers to color everything.
After the coloring, I cut all the elements to build the background, a 7 by 5 inches Bristol panel, a black rectangle frame that I created using the first and third largest dies from the nesting A7 die set. I also cut a hill border and three trees using the full moon die, three because I wanted to bring dimension to this element. I cut a circle out of masking paper and stuck it on my panel behind the branches. And I picked some oxidings to create a super bright and spooky Halloween sky. I applied the lightest ink around the mask. And then I applied the other inks towards the edges of the paper, from the lightest to the darkest. So once I was happy with the blending, with this orangey red spooky sky, I added lots of water splatters all over the paper. I dried the panel using a paper towel. And next I mixed some black soot oxide ink with water and added more splatters to the panel to bring more contrast. I used my twizzlers to remove the mask and then I stuck the other part of the mask to cover the paper around that white circle. And I used a bit of dried marigold oxide ink to add a little bit of color to the moon. Off screen, I also added white acrylic paint droplets all over the panel. And then I assembled everything, starting with the black frame that I stuck using black foam squares. Next, I attached the hill border using the same foam squares. I stuck my three trees on top of each other and trimmed the bottom of it to fit behind the hill border. I stuck the tree using liquid glue. And then I attached all my cute Halloween characters using liquid glue and the same black foam squares as before. Once everything was attached, I white heat embossed my sentiment, Hello from the book crew, on black cardstock, trimmed it into a small banner that I stuck above the images, 
I stamped a few bats here and there, and as always, I also added white highlights and details on the images and sky as well. And that's it, my spooky cute card is done. Make sure to check the design team's Instagram pages for more inspiration. All the links are below the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Have a very nice day. Bye.